okay it's just a very short video just uh, to show you the difference in the uh, the way blocks get inserted into AutoCAD in these more current versions I think this was kind of 2019 onwards it's got a different dialog box for for using the insert command so we, we what we want to do is bring in the other walls for the for the building that will go in this area uh, so I'm just going to use the, the the letter I for the command I and enter let's get to the command prompt so I and enter okay and this is the dialog box it does look quite different from the one that you'll see in the video previously you had um, now what we want to do is bring in a file from outside of this drawing so we use the the, the three dots icon here the browse button okay and I'm looking for BP marble walls which is the file attached to this section of the worksheet so BP marble walls you get a preview of the block so we can see yeah it's kind of the right kind of stuff that's coming in the stuff's on the same layer and the likes okay and click open okay and for this block it's been kind of set up so that it comes in in the right place so you take the insertion point tick off so it's going to go then to zero 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 which is this position here Okay, and we want to explode this so that it breaks it up into chunks. Okay, so we've got insertion point on, insertion point off, explode on. Okay, then you right click the icon of the of the block, and just for to make sure, we'll use the insert and explode, and it should come in the right place so we can move that out of the way and these items should all be individual lines now just as the rest of the drawing is okay now there is another option for, for insert uh, we usually been working on the home ribbon but if you go to the insert ribbon you'll see the very first command there is insert okay we've got recent blocks there uh, blocks from other drawings okay so it just brings up the same dialog box which you use in exactly the same way but usually when you're inserting a block you don't want to explode it you want to keep it as a united object say it was a symbol of a tree or a car we don't want it broken up into thousands of little lines okay and you generally want to control the insertion point yourself Okay, we also usually want to control the scale. Um, do we want to bring in twice as big or whatever? And also the rotation. So generally with other types of blocks, you may find much more of these are ticked. Okay, I hope that kind of clears things up with that difference in those two commands.